With live blood analysis, we just take one drop of blood and it's placed on a microscope slide and then placed under the microscope and then we uh, hook it up to the computer and we get to see what it looks like on a computer screen. So here we have Rick Panson and he's going to be describing live blood analysis. Coming in, here they come, red blood cells. Oh, here we go, look at that. Look at those beauties. Yeah. You drinking any plain water? No, just lemonade. Just lemonade, huh? Yeah. Why well, not just plain water sometimes? Okay. I gave you plain water, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, look at that, a little dehydrated. So that's red blood cells? Those are the red blood cells with a nice, healthy little uh, reflective lipid coating on them. We can take this out of the way. Amoeba moving so slowly through the terrain. That's a white blood cell. That's yeah, a white blood cell, huh? Yeah, neutrophil, to be exact. Okay. It's a neutrophil. And it's got a nice, something very bright in its, what perceived to be its tail section, if it's, if we're going to perceive that to be its mouth, because that's the direction it's heading. Okay. Hi. Hi, so Henry. that, what's that at the end there, at its tail? Well, I don't know. It's, uh, it's glowing, like it might be, it might have picked up a crystal, an acid crystal. Oh, yeah? Um, which is rare to see in a neutrophil. Strong, robust ones that have right. just been produced, all the way to the little old, richety, crackety ones that are ready to be disintegrated and fall apart. Yeah. And everything in between. So, now typically when you have this big size difference, you got a macrocyte here that's larger than normal, and you got a microcyte here which is a little smaller than normal. That has to do with acidity as well. When you see this nice dark fibrin here, dark fibrin lines in there and the nice bright red that's perfect there you can't ask for anything better than that um, when I see a little bit of this pooling out yeah. here and it's not throughout the sample you notice there's no pooling on that side of the sample yeah. there's no pooling on the top of the sample except for right out here on the on the very edge okay um, you have any any skin challenges going on Typically, uh, that's out in that region. Oh, yeah? And then... Uh